Hello guys, today's topic is a facial and the stomach cancers. Esophageal carcinoma accounts for about 6% of all gastrointestinal malignancies. Esophageal cancer occurs when cancer cells develop in the esophagus, a tube-like structure that runs from your throat to your stomach. Food goes from the mouth to the stomach through the esophagus. The cancer starts in the inner layer of the esophagus and can spread throughout the other layers of the esophagus and to other parts of the body. What are the risk factors of esophageal cancer? There are a number of factors which increase a person's risk of developing esophageal cancer. They include smoking or other use of tobacco, heavy alcohol use, gastroesophageal reflux disease, in which contents and acid from the stomach back up into esophagus. Barrett's esophagus, a condition that affects the lower part of the esophagus and can lead to esophageal cancer. Over time, stomach acid in the esophagus can cause changes in the cells that increase risk for adenocarcinoma. Location of cancer in the esophagus cervical 10%, upper thoracic 40%, and lower thoracic 50%. There are two main types of esophageal cancer, squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma. What are the symptoms of esophageal cancer? Dysphagia is the most common complaint. Patients become unable to swallow solid foods and eventually liquids. Symptoms rarely develop until the esophageal lumen is greatly narrowed and metastasis have occurred. Pain may or may not be present. Physical findings, cachexia, palpable supraclavicular lymph nodes or hepamegaly. Diagnostic studies, esophagoscopy with tumor biopsy, barium esophagogram, chest radiograph, abdomen ultrasound, Computer tomography scan, endoscopic ultrasound is more accurate than CT in assessing tumor depths and paraesophageal nodes. Laparoscopy allows assessment of subdiagraphmatic, peritoneal, liver and lymph node metastasis. Bronchoscopy for tumors of the upper or middle esophagus can diagnose direct tumor extension through branchial trial. Let's talk about stomach cancer. Stomach cancer, also known as gastric cancer, is a cancer that develops from the lining of the stomach. Where are the high incidence areas of stomach cancer in the world? The highest incidences are found in East Asia, Japan and China, Eastern Europe and South America. What in the etiology and risk factors. Gastric cancer occurs as a result of many factors. Common age 40 to 70 year. It occurs twice as commonly in males as females. Diet, low fat or protein consumption, salted meat or fish, high nitrate consumption. Environment, poor food preparation, smoked or salted food, lack of refrigeration, poor drinking water, well water, and smoking. Social, low social class, of course, except in Japan. Medical, prior gastric surgery, helicobacter pylori infection, gastric atrophy and gastritis, adenomatous polyps and male gender and edematous polyps. Again, Helicobacter pylori, presence of EGG to Helicobacter pylori in a given population correlates with local incidence and mortality from gastric cancer. This is shape of gastric cancer. 
morphology, polypoid, ulcerative, superficial spreading and lenis plastica types. What is the clinical presentation? Symptoms Epigastric pain, bloating, early satiety, nausea and vomiting, dysphagia, neuroxia, upper GI bleeding, weight loss. The patient complained of loss of appetite that was followed by weight loss of 10 ki kg in 4 weeks. <coughs> Investigations Full blood count, amylase and lipase, serum tumor markers not specific, stool examination for occult blood, chest x ray, bone scan. Specific investigations Endoscopy with biopsy, double contrast study, CT, MRI, and ultrasound imaging, and the sole laparoscopy. This is double contrast study. Endoscopy is the gold standard of diagnostic of cancer. It allows taking biopsies and the safe. CT, MRI and US help in assessment of wall sickness metastasis, peritoneum, liver and lymph nodes, laparoscopy, detection of peritoneal metastasis. Differential diagnosis, gastric ulcer, gastritis, gastric polyp and Crohn's disease. In conclusion, what is the management for esophageal and stomach cancers? They are surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. Thanks for attention.